What's your favourite subject at school? Is it English, science or maybe it's art? There are so many to choose from but not many people say history. Did you? It's often thought of as dull and boring but for me nothing could be further from the truth. I love history and today I'm going to show you just how fascinating it can be. You ready? Let's go. I'm here today in Cadman's Cottage, which stands as the oldest house in Sydney. It was built in 1816, which means that it is 195 years old, which would be the same age as my great, 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 great grandma if she was still alive. Wow, that's old. Which means that there must have been lots of different people living here over the years. The most famous of these people was the Cadmans, after which this cottage is named. Can you imagine what it would have been like to be one of the Cadman children who lived here in the 1800s? What things would they have seen? And what sounds would they have heard? Interesting to think about, isn't it? So there you go, we've learned so much today, not only about Cadman Cottage, but also how much fun history can be. Hi there, I'm Danielle with The Surf Report. It has been a spectacular winter's day today on Sydney beaches. Reaching a very sunny top of 24 degrees, locals were out in force to enjoy the warm winter sunshine. Throughout the day, moderate westerly winds and a two to four foot swell created some decent rides for Sydney surfers, with the best waves to be had along the southern facing beaches. So despite the chilly 17 degree water, conditions couldn't have been better for Sydney surfers. The forecast ahead for tomorrow isn't looking as promising with a southerly change coming over as I speak. So my advice is to stick it out till Tuesday when the surfing gods are likely to be coming and shining down on Sydney once more. I'm Danielle, until next time, see you out in the surf. I'm here this afternoon in Sydney's Chinatown and amid this bustling hype of restaurants is in my opinion, one of Sydney's best kept secrets. Let's take a look. Here we are at the Emperor's Garden Cakes and Bakery and as you can see by the huge line of people behind me, this bakery has become renowned for one little delicacy in particular. I've got some first time visitors here to the Emperor's Garden Cakes and Bakery so you're after some Emperor's Puffs, are you excited? Uh, we're pretty yeah. excited. <laughs> <laughs> so can you tell me what you're joining this big long line for? Oh this is the Emperor's Puffs. Emperor's Puffs, oh gosh I've been hearing so much about these Emperor's Puffs. You excited? I am, I am, I actually. You joined the long queue, but I'm sure, I'm sure it's gonna be very worth it. Oh, so is everyone here for some Empress Pops? They are the Empress Pops, that's what we line up. <laughs> so can you tell me what you've uh, joined this very long line to experience? Well I've never had Empress Puffs before, so I thought we would Excellent. Experience. But you've heard all about them, have you? Yes. Well, uh, so I hear you're in for a very light, fluffy and tasty experience. Excellent. <laughs> that was so good. I just had about six Empress puffs, sort of like a fitter roll, but better. So come on down to Chinatown and experience an Empress Puff today. They were so amazing. I think I'm gonna have to go back for some more. We all love to visit these magnificent creatures in the aquarium, but what if the aquarium was the only place that these guys existed? Unfortunately, that could be the reality for too many of Australia's marine life. Over the past 200 years, due to human involvement, Marine life has been pushed to the brink of extinction. From overhunting to pollution and now to the threat of global warming, Australia's marine life has been forced into a fight for survival. But thanks to the Australian Conservation Foundation, their fight for survival is not alone. And you too can join and help support their effort to save our friends of the sea here for the future. I'm about to go backstage and interview Beyonce as she embarks on her worldwide tour. But now it's competition time and first prize this week is a trip to the Grammy Awards in Chicago. Come on guys, this is a biggie. Are you ready? 
who was last year's best female pop vocal performer and what was the name of her album that shot to the top in a matter of three days. I want you to send your answer into the email at the bottom of the screen and I'll be seeing you in Chicago. I'm off to go and interview Beyonce. Catch you later.